Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Terraformers, which is a game where we have to build a human colony on Mars, with the plan being to then terraform the entire planet and make it a little bit more Earth-like, I suppose. So we have to do things like add water, we try to create an environment, we gather natural resources, we build cities, we go exploring, we try to keep everybody happy, and hopefully Mars becomes a little bit less red and a bit more sort of greeny-bluish, I suppose. Also, it's turn-based, which is wonderful. I do like a nice turn-based game. It means I can sit back and take my time and I can sip at my tea as we mull over what we need to do next. So that's always quite nice. Now this is the early access version of the game and it is due out tomorrow as I record this on the 21st of April. And as always, if you're interested, then there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Away with us to Mars. Okay, so here we go. The red planet awaits. Welcome to the Mars Colonization Project. Thank you very much indeed. I'm very happy to be here. A small step for the first colonists, but a giant leap for mankind. That sounds very familiar. I've heard that somewhere before. The shuttle has landed and your people are ready to settle on the red planet. Every man and woman on the ship is aware of the historic importance of this mission and the great responsibility resting upon their shoulders. Their lives will be spent beneath the domes of artificial habitats, but they are not here for themselves cells, they are here for the future of the human race. It will be a long time before a human can breathe Martian air, but everyone is willing to work tirelessly to make that day arrive. Earth has sent resources to start the settlement and proposes some leaders to represent you on Mars. Good luck. Thank you very much. I suspect we might need it. So there we go. We've landed on Mars and we brought with us a kind of a few basics, like a little sort of, you know, new Martian home starter pack type thing, if you like. So we have ourselves 50 power. We've got 29 food. We've only got 10 water which does seem a little bit kind of a little bit on the low side, I would have said, given that Mars isn't known for being, you know, very watery. We've only got 10 water with us, so we might have to cut back on the tea production a little bit. But there we go. So 10 water, 5 titanium, and we've got a greenhouse farm and a habitation module. OK, so that all seems fine. So, you know, kind of basic starter stuff. So let's go and see where we've actually decided to land and kind of set up our new home. We are here in New Addis Ababa. So there we go. That's kind of our starting settlement. Now there is quite a lot to look at on the screen here. So let's go and have a look what we have. So that's our kind of city. That's where we're going to set up shop and we can kind of expand from there. These kind of question mark points are where we can go and investigate. So we can go exploring over here and we might find different things. We might find resources or events or other things we have to deal with. And then we can kind of make decisions on what we'd like to do with these. And eventually when the city gets a little bit bigger, we can start kind of expanding over to here. Maybe we could go mining resources or we could you know, make oceans or whatever. So that's kind of what we do with those. And eventually they kind of sort of spread out across the planet. They kind of network out and we can sort of, you know, go and explore lots more things. Then over here, we have our resources. So we've got 29 food, got 50 power, got no science because we've only just got here. And we've got the 10 water and then we've got no nitrates, no silicates, five titanium and no tritium, tritium. It's this stuff here that looks a little bit kind of, it looks a little bit radioactive and possibly a bit dangerous, but there we go. We have none of that. Now this here is very, very important. This is kind of our support meter. So this is the support of our population. We want to keep that nice and high because as you can see on the screen there, when it reaches zero, the Mars colonization project will be deemed a failure and it's game over. So we want to keep that ticking up nice and high. And to do that, we kind of have to build new buildings and get more population and Jamie, you know, just do nice things. And this here, this kind of very sort of understated little bar in the corner, that's our kind of victory points bar. So we need to get to 300 victory points to actually take a victory here. But yeah, we'll come to that in time. Then over here, we've got how we're sort of doing in terms of terraforming. So we have progress on temperature, progress on making oxygen, progress on the sea level, and progress on making an atmosphere. And then down here, we've got the kind of turn controls. But this is what we need to do first. The very first thing we have to do is pick a leader. So who are we going to have representing us on Mars? Let's go and have a look. So we can have Gustav Merzian, who looks fabulous. Look at you. You look very good. I like your kind of top of uh, sort of jacket thing here. That's very exciting. So his expertise is artificial intelligence. Okay, so what skills do you have? You can go exploring. That's very good. Uh, you generate five power from doing energy saving. Oh, that's quite good. That's quite good. Uh, or you could do applied research. Two more research projects are proposed this turn. Gain three science. OK, so these are all actions that our leader can do. They can only do one per turn, however. And you have a specialization in advanced machine learning. Increases your science production by one for every seven robots you construct. 
Okay, so yeah, at some point we might go and start getting robots. Um, or we could have, oh, I never know how to say this, uh, Jorge, Jose, something like that. George, I don't know, we'll call you George. Uh, George Dromedo, who has fantastic kind of sort of prosthetic kind of feet going on. That's amazing. Um, okay, so what can you do? So your expertise is construction. You can also go exploring. Uh, you can do earthworks. So destroy two rocks for free this turn. Um, and you can do modular apartments. Construct modular apartments for its food cost only. Okay, that could be quite handy. That could be quite handy because, of course, more modular apartments means more people on Mars, means more stuff going on. And your specialization is rural constructions. Constructing regional buildings costs 15% less resources. Okay, so we have got two very good candidates. We've got kind of the builder or we've got the brainy box. I think we might go for you. I quite like your fancy sort of shirt thing going on. And yeah, you are wearing kind of you know, a few hot pink items. Not quite as hot pink as I'd like, but yeah, I think we'll go for you. I do quite like this. We can just use one of his sort of uh, actions per turn to generate a big load of power. That's very, very handy. Uh, yeah, we'll go for you because, you know, that's that's exciting. You're a kind of artificial intelligence person and you're very good at generating resources and you're good at doing science as well. So let's go for you. So there we go. We've picked a leader. There he is. There's Gustav over there. Uh, yeah, so now he can do these actions. He can only do one per turn. So I think now let's go and have a look at our actual little city setup. So this is where we're going to live. I mean, look at that. That is very lovely. That is a very, very nice view indeed. That's very smashing. Look at that. Um, right, so now we need to place our headquarters down here in Addis Ababa. Because right now we've got all these kind of plots where we could go and set up. But we've not got a kind of HQ. So let's go and place our headquarters Okay, so what exactly is going to uh, going to happen if we build on these? Ah, we get a, um, it looks like when we build our headquarters, we get a point of support because, you know, we're getting on with things. I think let's build it over here in this corner so we can sort of, you know, get a good view of it. So if we pop our headquarters into there, there we go. The headquarters is in. I don't think we can zoom in anymore to look at this, but there we go. And then I think as well, let's place down our greenhouse farm. So it is going to cost us all of our water going to cost 10 water to place this down but it will start producing food so we're going to sacrifice a bit of water but we are going to start getting a little bit more food so i think let's get that in shall we i mean the habitation module would be quite handy but it requires 30 food to place down and we only have 29 it's slightly agonizingly short so here we go let's get the greenhouse farm in as well and they just kind of appear they just kind of appear because, you know, a term is, I don't know, is it a year or five years or something? I don't know. But the kind of buildings do sort of magically appear. They don't have to sort of you know, be constructed or whatever. So there we go. So we've got greenhouse farm and headquarters. That is very good indeed. And now I think what we should do is go back to the map. Let's do a spot of exploring then, shall we? So let's go and get a little kind of Martian Jeep type thing. Now, where do we go? There, there, there or there. It looks like over here, there you go, a large hint of water. Given that we now have no water at all, I think that might be quite a good idea. So let's get in our little kind of Martian truck thing and we should drive all the way over there. It will cost us one power to go and do that, but that's fine. We've got plenty of that right now. Uh, the resource prospection of the location has revealed a deposit of water as well as small hints of nitrates. Okay, that could be quite handy. We can collect samples recorded while prospecting. So just because we've gone there and kind of had a look around, we've got four water. So get the kettle on and two nitrates. Don't put them in the kettle. Okay, there we go. So we've now got this kind of location over here. Sort of, you know, sort of researched, if you like. We've not done anything with it. We've been over there. We've got, ah, right. That could be uh, suitable for an aquifer. Loads of water over there. Uh, but yeah, we're not doing anything with it right now because we need our city here to expand a little bit before we can head over there. And now that's interesting. So from this site that we just kind of investigated, we've got three more locations popping up and each one of those has got a big kind of smiley face support thing on it. So I imagine if we go to there, there or there, we're going to get something which is going to make us kind of a little bit more popular. Okay, that's quite good. However... We can't do anything else this turn, I do not believe. So I think that's it. Our turn one, our first little sort of year on Mars has passed by. So it's 2050. So what does it do? 2052. Yeah, so it takes a couple of years per turn. Um, so now because the turn has gone by, we get to do some projects. And now we get to pick, essentially it's like a card. I think it's like a card that we can put in our hand down here and then we can play it at some point. So um, yeah, let's have a look. So what do we want? Do we want to get a lab? That could be quite handy, but it will require five nitrates and five silicates. And we've not got any silicates at all and only two nitrates. We could research a 
Tritium Thermo Generator, that sounds very exciting, uh, to generate a bit of power, but again that requires this Tritium glow-in-the-dark stuff down here that we don't have, or we could get a tuba farm, again that requires 10 nitrates that we don't have, or we could not do any of that and we could just receive plus one science, which is that thing there. I think right now, because we can't build any of these and we're nowhere near getting any of these, let's just kind of, you know, let's invest our research in research points over here, I think. That's probably for the best. Okay, there we go. So we go to one research point. However, we now do have 30 food. So if we go down to Addis Ababa, we can now build ourselves a habitation module, which is very good indeed. So yeah, at the moment, Addis Ababa, I think this is how this works. Addis Ababa can have five structures in it at the moment. So we've got two, so we've got the headquarters, we've got the farm. So I think if we build this just here, say, in fact, let's put it over there, let's put, I mean, can we build it on the edge? Because that'd be really good to look at, wouldn't it? If you wake up in the morning and look out over that beautiful crater, uh, let's put it just there, look. There we go, so habitation module appears. Ooh, and things have appeared. So as we build up our little sort of city over here, it begins to develop in other areas. So now, because it's grown a bit, because we have some more people on board, because of the greater population, we can now have up to nine buildings. And this kind of thing at the top here, this kind of hex, means that we can now have one more location. So if we go back out to here, we can now expand to another location. So we could, if we wanted to, expand to this aquifer here and then start getting water out of that by building another building on it. I think, though, let's give these things an explore first. So let's go to here. Let's go and have a look at what's going on over there, maybe. So what's that? Rocky Plains. Okay, not the most exciting of things, um, but we can pick up silicates, tritium, and water. Okay, that's very handy. And I think, again, that's all we can do this turn. So let's move it to the next turn. I do like the whole turn-based thing. It's very, very good. I like a turn-based game. Um, I think... Let's pick up a habitation module. I know we can't place it quite yet, but we might as well have it kind of in reserve. So we'll have one of those, thank you. Um, and then let's go exploring again. Let's go and explore that bit there. Okay, so what have we got? Some tritium deposits. So for tritium or tritium, I don't know how you say that. Um, nitrates and science. That location is of scientific interest. Okay, so that's quite good. And then I think... We'll skip to the next turn again and just research that bit there. A new trade route with an amazing looking kind of exciting spaceshipy thing. Earth has established a permanent trade route with us. I thought they might have done that earlier, but okay. With regular traffic between the two planets, we can now expect our new colony to burgeon and grow for as long as we make the journey worthwhile for Earth-born travellers. Great. Okay. So we have one trade route. Um, I mean, do we want to get anything from here? Greenhouse farm, another module for living in. Or a lab. Possibly a lab might be quite a good thing to get on board. Just to try and maximise our science a little bit. Now, we can't build it right now because we're lacking in resources. But as we explore, we'll pick things up. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get a lab card down here as well. Um, right, so here's our kind of trading thing over here. So we can, each turn, at the moment, kind of um, trade one thing away and import one thing in from Earth. But I don't think we need to do anything with that right now. I think we'll park that for now. Thank you, Earth, for your trade offer. We'll leave that for the moment. Right. So let's go exploring just here. And that's the kind of last site that we've explored that's linked to our capital. So let's go down there. So some more rocky plains, tritium water and nitrates. Thank you so much. Our resources are building up. Ooh, lost supply crates. Okay, that's good. Your team discovered a lost batch of supply crates. Judging from their condition, they have been here for a while. Sandstorm scraped off all identifying labels, making it hard to determine their origin. At least you can be certain whoever left them here won't miss them. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've found a load of stuff. It's got 10 food in. Yep. That's fine. We'll take 10 food. Thank you very much. So up to 12 food. Okay. So we need to decide where we'd like our capital to expand to. So I think we've got a choice of either going over here and expanding on this tritium deposit or going down here to an aquifer and getting a load of water. I think getting water is quite important because, you know, without water, we're going to end up a little bit dead. So I think let's go and expand down there. So here we go. So if we, actually, if we go into the city, um, we can have, yeah, we've got one current location, which is where we are, but we can have two. So I think that's what we do. So I think we click this, click to expand your city to an adjacent location. And I think we go down here to this aquifer. So here we go. While prospecting for resources, we found, yeah, deep and extensive water aquifer. So we could mine it. That means we get, what do we get? 
and we get plus one water per turn and then oh is that it plus one water per turn mine one resource per turn of the deposit or we can turn it ah right here we go here we go this is where we get to start sort of uh, making decisions about kind of ongoing resources or trying to complete our goals over here in terms of terraforming the planet so we could mine this and that means we get plus one water per turn for the rest of the game which is good because you know water is handy we like that or we could just basically just what does that do a water mine pumping water straight to the ocean so we extract water for oceans so I imagine we sort of create a little lake over there or something, do we? I don't know. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that, because I didn't get that far in the tutorial. And I've got no idea how that works. So let's press that button and see what happens. So, okay, we've expanded over here and we've got 10 out of 30 points required to make an ocean, I believe. So we've got a little bit of a sea level increase going on somewhere. Okay, right, that's very good. Uh, right, Chappie can't do an exploring or whatever, so here we go. Go to the next turn. Resource support. Okay, to increase their prestige, three big corporations are offering to set up a trade route and supply a city of your choice with a valuable resource. Due to logistical considerations, only one trade route can be reliably maintained and each company offers a different resource to help with your city's development. Which one do you want to take up on their offer? Um, I don't really know. Can we look at what we need to build? I can't see what we've got on our cards. Um, we've got a tritium mine nearby, so I don't think we need that. Um, the, both of these were useful, I think. Both of these silicates and nitrates were handy. I think let's go for... I can't remember. I don't know. Titan polymers, because it sounds exciting. There we go. So we'll grab some nitrates. Um, ah, hang on. We could build one of these. What does that do? So a tritium thermogenerator gives us plus one power... But adjacent population provides minus one support per turn. Ah, so people don't want to live next door to a gigantic big generator. Do you know what? That that seems fair. That seems absolutely fair. Uh, we need some more of these. What are they? Silicates. We need some more silicates to build that research lab thing. I think we'll keep the um we'll keep the point for now. Hang on, can we do this? Applied research. Two more projects are proposed this turn, and we get three science points. Oh, let's do that. That's his kind of skill, isn't it? Let's do that. So we get two more things. So we can have a soil factory. Okay. Adjacent food producing buildings produce plus one food per turn. Um, or we can have a resonance station. Adjacent power buildings produce plus one power per turn. I mean, that probably isn't a bad thing to have in our hand. This soil factory thing. Yeah, let's, let's get one of those, shall we? Thank you very much. Right, we can't explore. So do you know what? Just go straight to the next turn. Oh, crikey. Exploration satellites from Earth. Okay, right, so we've been given satellites. Take with our exploration efforts. Earth delivered an array of exploration satellites to the Martian orbit. Oh, thanks, people of Earth. This allows us to map out remote regions from the comfort of our homes without having to send an exploration team into the unknown. With this powerful tool, the Red Planet secrets shall soon be revealed. Okie dokes, we have some satellites. Uh, okay, what's that? Public baths. Oh, that sounds very exciting. Okay, I think we should pick up that card because it sounds good. What's that? Eco. Ooh, but eco homes sound good as well. 10 science, 20 food. But we've already got homes. But at the moment, we haven't got anywhere where people can go have a lovely, nice big bath and a spa treatment. So, do you know what? Let's pick up some public baths. Um, right, I think let's go exploring. Let's go and explore one of these things with a smiley face on it. Let's see what that does. Let's go down to here. Okay, so flat plains. Apparently this is a symbolic landmark. Is it? <laughs> Looks a bit sort of flat and plainy. The flat plains of this location offer plenty of space for the construction of a large city, but the lack of protective geographic features leaves it vulnerable to harsh winds and sandstorms. Okay, so we have picked up some water and some nitrates um, and plus 20 support because people like the flat planiness of it, I suppose. So, okay, so we'll have that. So support is looking very good. 139, and it's ticking up by two each turn. So that's not a problem. That's a good thing. We like this. Uh, we can't build anything still. We need to go, where are these silicate things? Where are they? Can we find any of those? Yeah, over there, there's some. Okay, right, hang on. Go to, oh, hang on, what's that? Satellites. Oh, this is exciting. Right, hang on. Let's use our magic space satellites, because that's how satellites work. Um, and have a look. Um, there. Go to just there. 
That's going to take three turns, I imagine, is it? Oh, no. It had a little three under it. I thought that might have taken three turns, but okie doke. Um, red rocks, as far as the eye can see. How otherworldly. Okay, an ideal site for a large building. So silicates, nitrates, tritium. Ah, now we can build this lab. We could build the soil factory. I think we build the lab first. Hang on. So new Addis Ababa. Let's build ourselves a nice lab. Um, yes, what does it do? Plus one science per turn. That's got to be a good thing. So let's pop that over in this corner. So it's kind of out of the way, I feel like. It's out of the way of all the... Um... Well, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Park that over there for a second. If we've got a soil factory, adjacent food producing buildings produce plus one food per turn. Would it not be wise to build that, say, here? And then we can build three food producing buildings around that. Because that's, I think, the most we're going to get out of that. Yeah, okay, let's not put that over there. Hang on, research building. Uh, we'll just put you there. That's fine. We'll pop you into that little gap. So there we go. We now have a kind of lab going on. Um, but... We've come right back down on nitrates. We can't build the soil factory anymore. Okay, never mind. That's fine. But there we go. So we've done a thing. Right, go to the next turn. So it's the year 2062. Rising expectations. Oh dear. Okay. As time goes by, your people start having higher expectations of their lives on Mars. It's not enough. History is repeating. We've only been here 12 years. <laughs> Give us a while. Uh, we will strive to meet them. Minus five support. Okay, so we did struggle with support there. Ah, now what's this? Windmills. A large field of windmills for power generation must be built on a planet location. Ah, okay, right. So on the big plains, that's where we could build some windmills. We could have a tuba farm. I like the windmills. Let's get some windmills. That means we need some more titanium. Okay, so the satellites. Uh, ah, right. The satellites are out of action. Oh, is that what the three was? Right, okay. So it doesn't take three turns for them to do their sort of satelliting. It takes three turns for them to become available again. Okay, no, yeah, that's fine. Right, let's go exploring. I mean, that's got, that's got a small hint of titanium. I would like to get these in because they just generate plus one power forever, which is very handy. So do you know what? We'll go just there. Um, yeah, that's got both useful things in. So we'll pop down here. What's over here? Sandstones. Your exploration party has discovered a breathtaking geological formation. The wind blowing for hundreds of thousands of years has carved rock formations into beautiful shapes. People will enjoy coming here for outdoor adventures. Okay, so we get 28 support. That's massive. Two titanium, two nitrates. Still not enough to build the windmills, unfortunately. So next turn we go. Um, what's that? Robot hub. Ooh. Okay, I like the sound of that. It does require all of our titanium, however. And I'd like to keep some of that. Do you know what? No, we'll invest it in the science points for now. Um, okay, so then there's titanium. Oh, hang on. That's a huge, a large hint of titanium. Let's go over there, please. Um, the resource prospection of the location has revealed a deposit of titanium, as well as small hints of water, plus six titanium. Um, oh, and some more sort of food crate things. Marvellous. Okay, so now we can build these windmills. So I think if we just drag them onto those rocky plains, that's it. We've set up some windmills over there on the big kind of empty rocky plains. Oh, this is marvellous. Right, okay, this is going very well indeed. Okay, so next turn has rolled round. I think once again, let's kind of just skip our research stuff for now and just keep the science point because we can't build too much stuff right now. Um, however, what should we do now? Let's go exploring. Are our satellites available? Yes, they are. Okay, so I think let's go up there with the satellites. Okay, rocky plains, water and science. But it is a location that we could build on eventually, which is handy. Um, and... How about that over there, then? We will get in a little kind of Martian truck thing and we'll head over here to a lava tube. Ooh, okay. It sounds a little bit scary, but okay. Our explorers have discovered an ancient volcanic lava tube. It is large enough that we could seal the holes and build a city inside. It would offer a high protection from radiation, but there will be lots of debris to remove. Okay, so we could build that if we want to. Um, it's also a very important symbolic thing for our people, so they like that, so that's more support. More titanium, more water, thank you very much. And some more supply crates, my goodness me. <laughs> These people are very careless with their things. Um, how do we, how do we set up a city? Because that there says we could set up a city. And yeah, we've got one, we've got new Addis Ababa. But what if we set up a new city, or even down there? 
So that city there on the plains is going to be open to the elements. That one there can be underground, so a little bit more protected from the elements, but we need to clear it out first. I like the idea of going over here. Had we found a city, all adjacent locations need to be explored before you can settle in here. Okay, right, that's fine. We can do that, absolutely. Um, so we use a satellite. Uh, we've used that kind of truck thingamajig. That's fine. Do we get another habitation module, or do we keep that for building over there? Do you know what? Let's keep it for our newish city. Um... Let's have, uh, what's that, robot hub? A university. That looks exciting. My university looked nothing like that. Um, or this kind of, sort of chimney type thing, Marsha. A house printed from regolith and providing protection against radiation. Do you know what? We'll take one of them. Thank you very much. Right, and let's get into our truck thing. And we'll go just there. We're using quite a bit of power for exploration. And right, so some more sandstones, 30 support, 2 water to titanium right so now can we found a city over here so it will cost us 30 of our food and five water but we do get a new city yeah okay why not let's do it um new no no new madrid no let's call it <laughs> new northampton because that's where i am right now um and color can be a lovely yellow there we go we founded new northampton um oh oh those are rocks uh, what do we do with these? Oh, three power to remove. Ah, now the engineer guy, the engineer guy was able to remove rocks, wasn't he? He could actually destroy rocks, but we chose Gustav here. Um, let's put it uh, I don't know, there. So I'll spend a bit of power on removing those things. And now we've got new Northampton. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, right. Come out of that. So now I've got Northampton up there, Addis Ababa over here, an unlikely pairing of sort of twin Martian cities, but there we go. Um, I think we'll go to the next turn. I want to get one of these done. Election year. Oh, oh, we get to pick a new leader. Ah, okay. So he, ah, so Gustav is retiring. He's gone. He, he's not going to stand again. Okay. So we can either have Thomas Foster. Okay. So your skills are exploring mine resources. Select a resource deposit, mine five of that resource with a bonus of plus one for large deposits and plus two for gigantic deposits. Oh, okay, so you could just get resources for us and you can make a supply station. Exploration missions can be undertaken from here. Ah, okay, that's quite handy. And your specialization is silicates boost. Increase your silicates production by one for every new three silicates you start producing. Or we could have Tariq Fayed. Okay, so you can explore. Um, you can overwork a city. Okay, that sounds a little bit grim. And you can make a police station. And your specialization, uh, specialization sorry, is water boost. It increases your water production by one for every new three water you start producing. I think this guy's got more use for that mine resources thing. Okay, Thomas Foster, are you in now? I like that. I like how the leaders kind of all change about. That's very interesting. Right, so what do we get now? A greenhouse farm, entertainment centre, a tritium thermo generator. I think a greenhouse farm has got to be the thing to have. And we're going to put it over here in New Northampton. However, power is coming down and we are running out of spots to build. Um, yeah, we've got... What's that? Small natural site. This rock formation is quite the sight. It looks very precariously balanced. Don't go under it. Health and safety. Adjacent population provides two support per turn. Ah, so we want to build sort of houses over here. Okay, that would make sense. Um, what about food, though? Could we build anything over here? What's that anomaly? That's science. Okay, so anything adjacent to that produces science. And that's a mine. Oh, some rocks are blocking the way to this slot. Hang on, that's already a mine. That's fertile soil. Fruit producing abilities in this lot produce plus one food. Okay, greenhouse farm onto the fertile soil over there. Yes, please. Or not. Okay, hang on. Is it because there's rocks in the way? Remove that. Remove that. That's very expensive in terms of our power. And now we can put that in. Okay, so now New Northampton, under the ground in its fancy lava tube, can now make a little bit of food. Okay, this is wonderful. Right, move time on a bit. Okay, rising expectations, minus 10 support. Support's on 279. I think it's okay. Um, a landing pad. Large flat surface for spaceships to drop off their cargo. 
So that does mean we could possibly get another trade route in. We're not using that right now. Um, we'll skip that for now to get a bit of science. Do we want to look at making use of our trade route? What do we want to get in? What's going to be quite handy? Um, these nitrate things are quite good because then we could make a soil factory. So I think, how about we trade a science point? So export a point of science for a point of nitrates, please. So I think that's it, because we only have one trade route. We can have one thing going out, one thing coming in. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now, well, let's use this. Let's use this mine resource thing. So mine five of that resource, so we can mine five titanium. Okay, yes, let's do that then. Okay, here's my resources. We've got five titanium. Just, just straight like that. Oh, that, that's very good. You can come again, sir. Okay, there we go. Bioengineering progress. Oh, that looks pretty. Nice colours. Um, scientists are making progress on adapting life to Martian conditions through bioengineering. They have been experimenting with different genetic variations and now present you with their two most promising candidates. Which of these life forms should they create? Oh, this sounds very dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen Jurassic Park? Um, okay, get Methanogenium or get Dinucius. So we can have... What's that? That's a bacteria. Um, I don't know what that is. They convert hydrogen from their environment to methane. Okay, and a bacteria spreader. Or we can have Dinucius, a simple bacterium that is naturally resistant to a wide variety of conditions. Hang on, so what does that do? So that provides us with plus one heat per turn. Okay, so that makes things a bit warmer. That's plus two atmosphere per turn. I like the idea of having an atmosphere. Because at the moment it's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere. But we're not alone, more or less. Right, there we go. So, we've now got one of those. And I think... Again, we'll take the science point. So what's that? That's 20 science points to get a bacteria spreader set up. That might take a while. But then can we just go mining again? We just get another five titanium. He, he's brilliant. He's That's really useful. That's really good. Ah, and satellites. Um, let's look over... I mean, water would be quite handy, wouldn't it? Water would be quite useful. Uh, we've got any water deposits? Yeah, just there. There we go. Another aquifer point. Okay, six water, three silicates, three science. We can now build a bacteria spreader. Okay. So it must be built on a planet location. Okay, so if we put that... Um, oh, no, we have to control it first. Ah, yes, it's like this kind of thing. Okay, so none of our cities at the moment can expand to another site because we need more population going on. Um, okay, so we need more food, essentially. So I think, yeah, can we get the soil factory in? Can we get some more of these nitrate things? Let's try and work toward that, I think. So again, we'll skip that for now. And then let's go and look where we can get a big pile of nitrates. Over here, look. That looks promising. Um, four nitrates, three science, and ten food. That's perfect. Okay, right. Over to New Addis Ababa. And I think if we put the soil factory there and then try and build farms around it... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go to New Northampton. Uh, if we put that there, that means we can have one, two... Oh, no, but that's blocking that, isn't it? We can have three farm things next to that but we can at least have that being boosted do you know what we'll put it here let's put it let's put the soil factory over here in new northampton so now we're generating even more food which is really good um so if we get to 30 food we can build this thing here this marsha thing which means uh yeah that's a house that's a population thing we can have that over here as well so hang on let's get to next turn next turn please um terraforming initiation Okay, Earth wants us to initiate the terraforming process. They provided us with a CO2 factory to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This will be an important first step in increasing the planet's temperature. Okay, so a CO2 factory. Um, and eco hose, yes. We want all of these exciting kind of residence things. So if we go down to New Northampton, if we now spend 30 food and 5 titanium on this sort of Marsha building here... That means that, yeah, it's plus one population, which means we can expand a little bit, I imagine. So, yeah, OK, put that there. And now we can have another location. And look, people are living in weird underground, I don't know, lava tube eggs or whatever they are. It's a bit weird, but I like that. 
I like, it does look a little bit like a kind of a salt or a pepper pot, maybe, but there we go. Um, and so hang on, hang on, come out of that. So now New Northampton, can we go up here, pick the rocky plains, expand to those, and then put the bacteria spreader on the rocky plains? Yes, we can. So now the bacteria spreader is going to be working on whatever that was, environment, wasn't it? Atmosphere. So if we... Oh no, hang on, you can do something as well. Let's go exploring. Um, power's a little bit low. Being a little bit low on power. Let's explore over there for water. So yep, six water, two titanium, very nice. So if we go to the next turn... Yeah, look, we've got three atmosphere now. Oh, that's very exciting. We're slowly getting an atmosphere. Wonderful. Um, right, these things here, not so bothered about those. We will take the science points. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we also need to build the public baths. I want to build the public baths. Where can we build those? Uh, we've got a residence thing there. So if we build it here or here and build another residence next to it, that's going to make the most of that, isn't it? So I think let's pop the public baths in over there. So there we go. So now that's happier. The people over there in that habitation module are really happy because they can go and have a nice Martian wash. Um, and we've got the CO2 factory that has to be built in a city. Okay. So what does that say? Adjacent population provides minus one support per turn. Okay. So if we're going to build a thing just here. I oh know we're not going to build a soil factory over here because we built the soil factory in New Northampton, didn't we? So I think... If we just build the CO2 factory just there and then just build some more farming stuff next to it, that's not going to bother anybody. So there we go. So now I've got a CO2 factory as well. So the temperature should be going up. We've got a little bit of sort of water stored and the atmosphere is creeping up as well. Oh, this is going very well. This is going very well indeed. Hang on a minute. Let's go and do some more exploration over there. And we've found some stuff. Wonderful. Okay, right. This is, this is ticking over very, very nicely. And we've got the satellites as well. Oh, splendid. Um, let's go over there. Some more sandstones. So 25 support, 3 water, 3 titanium. All very, very good stuff. Oh, however, slightly less good stuff is that expectations are rising a little bit more. So we've lost 15 support. We are still on 316, however. That should be okay. Right, robots. So Robot Hub provides plus 2 robots. Okay. So we can build one of those. So I think it's going to take a big chunk of our power. Um, but I think that's probably worth doing. So yeah, okay. Let's get a robot hub in. It goes into a city. Um, okay, do you know what? Northampton, here we go. Let's have a load of robots, shall we? Because what could possibly go wrong? Um, let's put them... And let's get rid of that, which is in a three power... Oh, hang on. Hang on. This is going to leave us without any power at all. That could be a little bit of a problem, couldn't it? Um, okay, hang on. We'll get rid of that. That's fine. We'll put that just there. So now New Northampton has got robots. Oh, brilliant. It's only a matter of time before they rise up and overthrow their feeble, squishy, fleshy human overlords. Uh, okay, right. So now we've got some robots going on, which means New Northampton can now have 14 buildings, but can also expand to a further two locations. Oh, this is very good. Okay, so if we expand to that titanium deposit there, that's got... Oh, hang on, what's that there? Sandstones. Let's expand to the titanium so we can... Ah, we haven't got enough power. It looks like we haven't got enough power to do... Oh, okay, we've expanded over there because we have. What's over here? Guided tours. Can't do anything with that. That requires power as well. Okay, right. We're a little bit low on power. If we could start generating some more power, that would be very handy. Um, can you go and mine a resource? Ooh. Um, that's going to cost power. That's uh, it's all going to cost power. Okay, bro, hang on. He can't do much with that. He can't explore. Um, supply station? Uh, I think we have to control it, don't we? Do you know, we'll just go to next turn. Everything's going to be fine. We'll, we'll do some power saving stuff. Aha, that's what we want. Windmills. Windmills, windmills, windmills. They generate power. That's a good thing. Yes, please. We shall take some windmills. Thank you very much. Um, we need, what's that? Eight titanium. Okay, right. Skip turn because we are generating some power. Um, keep the science. Skip turn. We're on three power. Ah, okay. Resource support. I mean, silicates. It looks like we're struggling for silicates right now. So yeah, we'll pick some silicates. Thank you very much. And nothing here generates power. 
an electron beam printer. They've got some amazing things. Plus one titanium per turn for every two titanium produced by the city. Or we could get a gas factory, plus two atmosphere, or we could get eco homes. Um, is it going to be, is it worth getting another eco homes card just in our hand? Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Right, we want to go mine some, some of the sort of that stuff. What is it? Titanium. So you, uh, Thomas, come along. Let's do some titanium mining from over there. So there we go. Five titanium means we can now build some windmills, which is always very good. So however, uh, New Northampton. Oh no, we might need Addis Ababa to expand because we can't. Where do you want to build the windmills? I don't want to put it on there because that's a titanium deposit. I want to put it on a blank kind of thing. So Addis Ababa would be best for that. Okay, well, hang on. We need some science. We need to get some eco homes into new Addis Ababa. Right, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's what we can do. So do that. Uh, oh, it's election year again. Okay, so Thomas is retiring. So we can't pick Thomas. We've now got Aisha Katri with a fan fabulously colourful kind of thing going on there. That's very nice. So she can explore um, a sewage treatment plant. Lovely. Plus one water per turn if the city has at least four population. Um, and convert three silicates to ten titanium. Okay. Sort of handy. We don't have that much in the way of silicates. And rock recycling. Removing a rock provides plus one titanium. That is handy. Or we could have Henry Carnegie. Okay, so looks like a kind of business person. Yeah, an industrial empire kind of person. So you can explore. You can do CO2 imports. So gain four atmosphere and plus four heat. Or you can do mine venting. Choose a mine. It immediately produces plus five heat and plus five atmosphere, as well as minus 25 support. Oh, okay. That's not going to be popular. Or cheap mines. Constructing mines is a bit less. Um, I mean, that's really good. CO2 imports is very handy. More atmosphere and more heat is very, very useful. I'm not sure we'd make use of your of your kind of abilities as well as Chappie's here. Even though you look far more fabulous and brilliant than this guy does. But there we go. Uh, right, Henry. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick you, Henry. There we go. Welcome aboard. Um, right, food. Food's looking good. Photovoltaic field. More power. More power is what we want. Um, okay, so we need some more science as well. So if we go there, satellites. Can any of these pick up any science points? That would be handy. Got any science stuff going on? Anyway, down here, big load of it. Four science, two titanium, three tritium. Okay, so now we've got enough science in Addis Ababa to build an eco home. We'll put that there because it's next to the public bath. So they'll like that. And now we can have another location from Addis Ababa. So I think we expand to that just there. And then we build, what do we want to build? Um, that's going to be 12 silicates. That's eight titanium. That gets plus one power if placed on a high location. I don't think that's a high location by the look of it. So we'll put the, uh, put the windmill things on there. And now we're generating even more power per turn. Okay, very good stuff. And of course, New Northampton can still expand. But um, yeah, guided tours is five support per turn. Or down here is, oh, guided tours. So it's guided tours or guided tours. Just depends which part of Mars you'd like to go and have a look around, I suppose. Ah, yes. Okay, so Henry, why don't we do your CO2 importing thing? So plus four atmosphere and plus four heat. Okay, so we'll do that. So the heat creeps up and the atmosphere gets a little bit more sort of complete. I'd like to maybe get the heat all the way up and round to the top. Because I'm not entirely sure what happens with that. So I'd be intrigued to see what we do with that. Um, okay, uh, satellites. Yeah, we're still waiting for those. Okay, so next turn. Okay, they've done some more bioengineering. So what do we get now? Kyanophyta, whatever that is. Atmosphere and oxygen. Or that one is plus one titanium. Oh no, let's, let's get the thing that means we can improve the atmosphere. Absolutely. Let's do that, whatever that is. A waste incinerator. People aren't going to like that, though, if they're next to it. But it does give us power. Or another lab or research center. Do you know what? We're okay. Let's keep the science point. Let's keep that ticking up very nicely. Um, okay, okay. So can we build a mine over here now? Yes, we can. 
So if we build a mine over there, that will use some of our power, but now we're getting some titanium per turn, which is very handy. Okay, right, it's all looking good. It's all going nicely. Uh, let's use your import thing again, because I want to get that ticking up. So he just keeps buying in stuff because he's rich. Okay, skip to the next turn. What is that? Import oceans from Enceladus. I'm not even sure what that means, but okay, it sounds exciting. So that there costs us eight tritium. We've got loads of that. Got 19 lots of that just burning a hole in our pocket. Possibly literally because it looks like it's radioactive. So we've got loads of that. And if we do that, it gains us 20 ocean. The Saturnian moon Enceladus possibly has plenty of cryovolcanic activity in its southern pole, shooting plumes of icy water into space where it can be picked up by harvesters. Yes, do that immediately. And we will... How, where did that go? How do we do that? Is that a thing? Is that a thing happening down here? Oh, what are these down here? Oh, there's there's buttons down here that I've not pressed. Okay, I don't know what they do. Hang on, we'll get him to do his import thing, because that's quite handy. Um, is that an action we can do down here? No. The car kind of vanished over here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where it went. Hang on, if we go to the next turn... What happens? Right, people's demands are rising even more. Minus 20 support, but we're still on 322, which is pretty good. Uh, we could think about getting an entertainment centre. Adjacent population provides plus three support per turn, must be built in a city. Yeah, I think we take one of those. That's got to be a very handy thing to have. So, okay, we'll take one of them. Now, we can build that right now. We could build one of those. Ah, hang on, there's that thing. Import oceans. Yes, do, do that. How do we how do we make that happen? I want to do this. Do we have to apply that? Ah, hang on. Ah, right. I see. Hang on. Do we have to do? Oh, it's an import. Okay. Well, hang on. Hang on. So cancel that import. Cause I don't care about that. Can we have some of that, please? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we can have one import of some ocean. It seems. So in eight turns, is that we're going to get an ocean importer? It's going to give us twenty ocean. I think that's how that's going to work. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's get him to do his CO2 import thing again. So there we go. More heat, more atmosphere. Um, right, satellites. You can pop over there. So water, titanium and nitrates. Thank you very much. And some more food. Very handy indeed. Um, and then, yeah, we've got the entertainment centre. Let's put that in. We can't put it down there, unfortunately, because it's built next to the headquarters. What about over here then? So if we build the entertainment centre, say, there... It's next to that habitation module, so they'll be a bit happier. And we can build another habitation sort of living thing over there. Let's do that. So there we go. So they're giving us six support now, which is very good. Okay, right. Yep, that's fine. So yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, look, it is. One of the sort of terrifying glow-in-the-dark stuff per turn is going toward importing an ocean. Okay, what's that do? Import hydrogen from gas giant... Uh, yes, we'll have that. That's exciting. A robot ingenuity center. That's just Skynet. We're not going down that road. Let's have that as well. So that's 13 tritium, but that's 50 atmosphere. Oh my goodness me. Um, right, okay, Chappie, do your CO2 imports again. So you're certainly helping out a lot with the temperature. It's getting a bit toasty around here on Mars. Uh, so skip to the next turn. We can now build another habitation thing. Temperature level increased. Your terraforming efforts are paying off, and the latest scientific analysis shows the temperature level has reached a new stage. Oh look, there's a graph with a line and pointy bits. Very good. Live news. Uh, Mars' environment is becoming ever more comfortable to live in, and your people are enthralled. Some life forms might now be supported. So we get plus 100 support. Um, orbital solar panels. Okay, all these things down here look amazing. I want those as well. I want all of the shiny things. Um, so now what does that mean? Ah, we're on current temperature level one. Okay, so we've got oxygen level nothing, ocean level nothing, atmosphere level nothing. But yes, we've got temperature level one. I'd like to, because it looks like this is going to take a long time. It looks like this is a game you invest quite a bit of time in. Um, I'd like to, before we finish up, I'd like to get this thing done. I'd like to get our kind of ocean thingamabob sorted out. So let's get him to do some more importing stuff. So there we go. And skip the next turn. I think our satellites are back as well. Oh, we can't have space hotels. Oh, that's all very sad. Okay, never mind. Hey, we'll have a school. That sounds quite good. Plus one science per turn. Adjacent population provides plus two support. 
Um, okay, do you know what? We'll pop a school right in there. There you go. New Addis Ababa has a school now. It's all very good. Um, yep, you do your CO2 importing thing again. There we go. Temperature creeping up. Atmosphere also creeping up. The Danley Group. Dan Lay, one of the big players in Earth's food industry, offers to set up a high-tech food lab. Oh, okay. So we can either get a lab. Hang on. Some years ago, they received negative backlash for attempting to copyright the DNA sequences of common plants and animals. Their generosity could be an attempt to generate buzz and cover some scandals. So we could get a lab, which does allow buildings to produce more food and a bit of science we could just say no for 50 support got loads of support right now so let's get a fancy lab can't build one right now because it requires a lot of science that we don't have there's another project oh this is this is very exciting hang on habitation module let's go to let's go to addis ababa get another habitation module in just there to increase the size of that oh look at that there's, there's things everywhere that's amazing. Uh, and now we can have another location. So I'm thinking if we get that location down there, we can put those photovoltaic fields at solar panels, effectively fancy solar panels down here. So I think we expand that to there, put them onto there. And there we go. We're now generating a good amount of power per turn. Okay, right, wonderful. You do your importing thing. So many imports coming in from Henry there. Oh, I forgot to do the satellites. Um, I think a domed park. Ooh, yeah, we'll take a domed park, thank you. Right, satellites. What do we need for the park? The silicates. Okay, can we find any decent... Ah, there. That looks like a big deposit of silicates. Five silicates, wonderful. Okay, so we'll take that. You do your import thing again. Uh, yep, so that's looking good. The atmosphere is looking pretty good. That's going to tick up, I imagine. Okay, right, research projects. Quantum data center. That's more science. Bacteria spreader. Okay. That requires a site, doesn't it? Yeah. A kind of planet location thing. Or a development centre. You can have one extra project each turn. You can have two extra projects in reserve each turn. Um, are they projects? Hang on. What do the projects count as? Um, do you know what? It's for, we'll, yeah, we'll take that. We'll have that in our hand. Right. You do your importing thing. Because that's really handy. And then if we then skip to the next turn, then... Oh, it's election year. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Henry. <laughs> Away with you. Hope O'Malley. Okay, the first child born on Mars. Oh, there's like a story as well. You can explore. You can do a rallying speech. Okay, so we can do a speech in each of our cities. And we can have cultural festivals. Spend eight water which I assume they turn into lots of lovely tea. We'll have a massive tea party and gain 80 support. And you gain plus one support per turn for every eight new buildings. Or we can have Mariam Fayed, who can explore. You can do applied research. You can have a drone hub and you can have a power boost. I like the sound of you. I think Hope O'Malley should be in charge, given that she was the first child born on Mars. It's like a perfect, wonderful sort of a tale there. Yeah, okay, we'll have you. Um, and an Android hub? Got loads of cards down here. Got loads of things down here. Uh, the only thing is we can't now import things all the time, which is a bit unfortunate, but never mind. Next turn, we're going to import a load of oceans, which is very exciting. Um, we can't do the water. We could do the water thing, but it would use up all of our water, which does seem slightly irresponsible. <laughs> Draining our resources dry so we could have a massive tea party. I think let's get you to go exploring where there might be some water. That could be handy. Where have we got a lot? Up there, look. Large water deposit. So that's five water. And, ah, we discovered an ancient exploration rover from the early 21st century. Most of them were thought lost to the sands, but this one is in surprisingly good condition. You can dismantle it for resources or make it the centerpiece of a Martian history museum. So we take it to park, get some stuff, or we get the Rover Museum. Oh, the museum's way better than just taking it apart. Yeah, let's, let's have a museum, thank you very much. Um, and I think next turn, we can import some oceans. So let's go and do that, shall we? Let's go and get this sorted. Right, minus 25 support. Yeah, people are grumpy. Um, we will have the entertainment center. Take another one of those. But now, let's import some oceans. So press that, and there we go. Your terraforming efforts are paying off, and the latest scientific analysis shows the ocean level has reached a new stage. 
Mars environment is becoming ever more comfortable to live in and people happy. Plus 100 support. And there we go. We've got one level of ocean. So is it looking... It is looking a little bit different. Mars is looking a tiny... Oh! <gasps> there's, there's actually ocean. <laughs> there's actually water. Oh, that's exciting. So the map is changing. It looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit sort of... It's a slightly different around the place. Um, yes, the map is changing as we play. Oh, that's very good. Um, hang on, atmosphere's ticking. Do you know what? Let's get the atmosphere up by one. Um, and you, you can do your cultural festival. So let's go and have a massive tea party. Yay, there we go. Huge tea party. 514 support. That's loads. Right, get the satellites out in force. Um, go over there, look. Big pile of titanium might be quite handy. So, yep, five of that. Thank you so much. And then... Yeah, if we end our turn, so some of the trade routes aren't assigned. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we need to do these, don't we? Hang on a minute. Um, what would we like to do? That's 50 atmosphere. Um, is there anything we could do for temperature? I don't think there is, is there? Um, okay, do you know what? Yeah, we'll have this importing now. So let's spend our, our glow-in-the-dark radioactive stuff on uh, importing hydrogen from a gas giant. Because that's what we can do. And this should also top up our atmosphere. Okay. Latest scientific analysis shows the atmosphere level has reached new stage. Another 100 support. The atmosphere has increased in thickness. Nice. Um, okay. And we can now have artificial bacteria or a pine forest. Yes, we shall have a pine forest. Thank you very much. A massive radio telescope, bacteria spreader or research centre. I mean, bacteria spreader sounds like a useful thing to have. We'll take one of those. Oh, look. Look. There's little things appearing as the atmosphere sort of you know, begins to you know, take shape and the temperature creeps up and the water's appearing. Look, there's little sort of little sort of ponds and lakes and rivers appearing and there's little sort of changes going on around the map. However, I think we will finish things up for now with Terraformers. I think we've had a very good look at the game. We've seen how it works and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? I've really, really enjoyed this. This has been an awful lot of fun. It's kind of got a very big sort of board game feel to it. I could imagine sitting around a table playing this with people and, you know, pushing little kind of counters around the place to show your resources and having cards instead of these things down here to show what buildings you've got and all that kind of stuff. It does have a very good sort of board game feel to it, which is no bad thing because I do like a nice board game. So, yeah, it's got that kind of got that vibe to it, which is very good indeed. And, you know, it's really good. I really enjoyed this. I was particularly surprised by the sort of the leader change thing. I didn't kind of expect that at all. I mean, in hindsight, it makes perfect sense because the guy that we picked at the start would be either very, very old or very, very dead by now. So it makes sense, but that just kind of hadn't occurred to me. So I quite like that. And um, yeah, I kind of feel like we've only just kind of scraped the surface, really. We've got, what, one level of temperature, one level of ocean and one level of atmosphere. No oxygen yet, none at all. Not got any of that going on. So yeah, there's a little bit of work to do. But even though we've really only got a little bit of our terraforming stuff sorted, we are seeing changes on the planet, which is good. So as we saw, we've got a little bit of water going on, huge bit of water there. And also, is that new? Is that like a little sort of thin kind of atmosphere forming around the edge of Mars? Was that there before? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I like that. I like the fact that the sort of the map is changing depending on what we're doing. And yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, lots of decisions. I mean, we've only got the two kind of Martian cities we could have built loads more. We could you know, go and do some more mining and some more kind of exploiting of resources. So there is an awful lot to do. But yeah, I think we have had a very good look at it. And it does take a while to play. I mean, we're what? About halfway through sort of toward victory. And we have been playing it a while. So yeah, we'll just imagine that we go on and do amazing things. And Mars is terraformed and it's brilliant and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we will finish up for now. But yeah, this has been very, very good. I've really enjoyed this. Hopefully you have too. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. 